I'm Tommy Vance, and you talk like a girl. I never do, except when I need to. Come on, then. Welcome to Dumber and Dumber, the show for losers in life's brain academy. On tonight's show, demolition isn't always a pushover. A shoplifter gets high before he comes down. And the cowboy's last stand. Meet J.D. Bridges, possibly the luckiest bloke on the planet. He's a former aircraft carrier naval officer, and remarkably, he still loves planes. Remarkably, because of this. The officer and his team were working on the deck of the USS Theodore Roosevelt. I was training a new recruit to take my job, launching the aircraft off the catapult. Stand by for one of the most incredible clips you will ever see. With a flash, he gets sucked into the revved up engine. It was a mental error on my part. When I got sucked into the intake, it sucked off my helmet, my gloves, my coat, which shot out a fireball out the back. The topside petty officer seen it and told the pilot to shut the plane down. And within a minute, I crawled back out and then I blacked out. This is him after the accident, looking like a man who's been dragged through an engine backwards. My helmet went through the intake, which pretty well, I think, saved my life. Most people that have been sucked into an engine, I think, got turned into chopped liver. After his ordeal, J.D. was anxious to forget the whole incident. That's forget as in go on about it forever by giving his kid a stupid name. Name him Blake for the simple fact he, uh, his father almost got chopped up by the blades in the intake, and it just kind of fit him. A young couple prepare to exchange marriage vows. Well, not that young. In fact, the groom looks like Kaiser Wilhelm. But you get the picture. Ah, a romantic moment. But the bride seems upset by something in the wine. Is it corked? No, it's teethed. She's dropped her dentures. It's a tradition in some countries, you know. Smile, darling. Interesting bouquet. I'm getting plaque. I'm getting bits of kipper. Ah, oh, that blushing bride. She's lovely. Here's a fat man in a yellow shirt. He looks out to sea and thanks God he's still alive. First of all, perhaps unwisely, he decides to help his mate go parasailing. His mate with a broken leg. Let go! Well, one of them did. Drop off! What is he doing? Drop Let off! Go. Let go! But then he hangs on for grim dinner. Don't get out there, Talonate. Might as well enjoy the view. It might be the last thing he ever sees. But his so-called mate is all greasy with suntan oil, and he just can't hold on. Right enough, he plunges 200 feet into the soup. Dude, some people don't even survive it. Amazingly, the balmy birdman survives. Dumb. The hell wrong with you, man? Don't do that again, dude. And how does it feel to land in the drink at 100 miles per hour? Just bend over and imagine a fire hose. I, I can't come up with a better scenario than that. Very tough to sit after that. And guess which single factor saved his bacon? Got a big butt, so the doctor said really protect it. It's the truth. Yes, he's endowed in the chicory. Drop off, what is he doing? And it might be the only thing that saved his backside. Farmer John here wants to remove this old fence post from his patch. But instead of digging it up like a person who hasn't got BSE from eating his cow's feed, he decides to give it a shove. And ends up where he belongs, face down in the brown. Right, lads, tea break's over. Police suspect the occupants of this car are either drunk or in a girl band. I'm betting they're both mad. After a grueling interrogation, the girls finally crack. We 
Our drunk. That's illegal. Turns out these two heavily pixelated stunners have just finished an amateur night performance at a local strip club. They'd had a few drinks and then become naked. You think I'm supposed to win? What? You probably should have won. The shell-shocked cop just can't believe his luck. My, my, my. It's something that happens in probably 1 in 25 careers. Fortunately, I was the lucky 1 in 25. And he's insisted on working the night shift ever since. But anyway, the girls decided that salvation lies in stripping off, sliding out of the window, and just flying away. But the eagle-eyed cops are wise to their plans. Ladies, come back to the car. Reinforcements are required, and help arrives in probably the fastest police response in history. Where's your rain plug in jail? Where are your clothes? Where are my clothes? <laughs> Time for a breathalyzer. Amazingly nudity fans, the girls' bush dance has burned off so much booze, the test negative, and the fuzz have to let them go. All right, what is your lucky day? Because you're not actually drunk. But thanks anyway for the videotape, girls. It's a big fave back at the station. I did get a copy of it. So did I, from a car boot sale. But what's he doing with the video now the case is closed? <coughs> oh, yeah, it's a fair cop, Gov. And he's been caught with his trousers down. We are drunk. <laughs> Stan and Diane Fraser own this Midwestern Illinois farm, and it's picture postcard perfect, except for one oversized eyesore. Not the mother-in-law. I refer, of course, to this rundown cement block silo. The farm head wants to demolish the blight on his landscape, but instead of hiring a trained professional, he decides there's only one way to get something done. And that's to make a complete dog's breakfast of it himself. So he ties a chain to the silo and tries to pull it down. That went well, but undaunted, Stan the Demolition Man decides to ram the concrete structure with his tractor. You know a good idea? This isn't one. Tonight on I'm Wearing a Silo, our special guest is this bloke. His wife runs to his side to deliver the death blow and collect the insurance, but he's already revived. Yeah, I had mortar in my pockets and concrete in my pockets and part of bricks was in my pockets and how it ever got there, I don't know. Well, here's a bit of a clue. When there's no wind, a sensible paraglider should know how to pack it in. But this lady wants to make the most of her day in the country and away she goes. She doesn't have lift, but by crikey, she's got plenty of momentum. Bish, bosh, dab, smack, into a herd of cows. Herd of cows? She has now. She's virtually been adopted by the rattle cattle. And now she's stuck out there till the cows come home, which, given that this is their home, could be quite a while. An example of a woman getting creamed. Texas Jack is a cowboy stuntman. For his big finale, he likes to fill a metal box with dynamite, stand on top of it, and hit the switch, as you do. It's designed to give the effect of someone getting blown up, obviously. Obviously, Tex! But not content with being blown up on a daily basis, the loopy cowpoke decided to add just a touch too much gunpowder. Turns out old Texas Jack doesn't know Jack about explosives. Oh, my God! The weakened metal gives way, and Jack is thrown 30 feet. I think you got him, that's right. The dude ranch dud reckons only one thing kept him from the big saloon in the sky. Landed on my head, that's the only thing to say. Hard-headed, you know. <laughs> Where there's no sense, there's no feeling, as a poet once said. Like my grandpappy said, you fall off a horse, get right back on. Well, 
I think my grandpappy was wrong. I don't think I'm going to get back on that horse. Uh, no more explosions for me. What horse? There's no horse. There's just you, you idiot. That went out with a bang. It's a good time to retire. But as he stares out into the middle distance, he seems to long for one more really big blowout. And now it's rush hour, the perfect time for a lone pedestrian pillock to try to cross a 14-lane highway. Whoever's on the other side of that highway, mate, she's not worth it. It's like an egg and spoon race over a minefield. He's got no chance until he sticks his hand in his pocket and pretends to be packing a piece. This is genius bordering on insanity. The plan works. He gets over the central reservation then reloads his pocket. The chicken crosses the road and gets all the way to the other side. Ish. He makes it across 14 lanes of speeding traffic, but doesn't bother checking the hard shoulder. Ow! That's gotta hurt. Amazingly, he wasn't. But he does now dream of a car-free society. After the break, a boxer whose Achilles heel is on his head. See the Kentucky Colonel whose last rites turn into a fry-up. And get down with the homie who puts the break back into break dancing. <laughs> <laughs>